By now, I'm sure all of you are aware that Minecraft Live is coming incredibly soon. However, some of you might not be aware that a couple days ago, they accidentally leaked some of the stuff in Minecraft Live on their website, accidentally revealing that a new mob called the Creaking is coming, as well as a new biome called the Pale Garden. Well, after these leaks, Mojang basically leaked them themselves by releasing this image here. As you can see, there's a new type of wood coming, which is white and mysterious, and over on their TikTok, they they released this incredibly bit crushed video. Ooh, spooky. What's happening at the Mojang offices? There's something with three orange eyes. Watch out. It's HR. Ah! But I like this guy in the comments, which simply writes, this is not Minecraft. Because of course, with every new Minecraft update, there's always a sect of people which say it doesn't feel Minecrafty enough. But if you want to see things which aren't really in Minecraft, or literally aren't in Minecraft, well, I need to tell you about something that I discovered nine months ago. If you were to go to Google and type in an update, let's go for Minecraft 1.21. It of course gives us the Minecraft website and the Minecraft wiki, where we can then read all about the Minecraft update. Nice and easy, right? However, what if we were to go back to Google and instead type in an update which doesn't exist, such as, Minecraft.41. Now we'll see that we instead get the listing for the Minecraft Fanon Wiki. This is a wiki dedicated to stuff which does not exist. It's entirely made up. So here we have 1.41, the space update. 1.41 was the first release of the space update. It's a major update to Java edition announced at Minecraft Festival and was first released in October 4th 2037. Now, I don't need to be the one to tell you this, but the year is not 2037. The additions in this update was you can now go to space. The height limit has been increased to 2,500 blocks, and you can now visit new planets. In all honesty, sounds pretty cool. Minecraft.38, we get the wiki again, but this time we get the ore update. Now, I've got to be honest here, I feel like I stumbled on like a rabbit hole, a, a little schizophrenic freak out of a website. But this wiki isn't just contained to updates which don't exist in the future, but it actually has updates which don't exist in the past as well. We all know that Minecraft 1.17 was Caves and Cliffs Part 1, but apparently to this website, it's the Nether Update Part 2. Too, adding stuff like brimstone and candles. Who would ever add candles to Minecraft? How absurd. But then I came across this list here, listed fan-made updates. And under the 1.17 section, we can see that there isn't just one fake 1.17 update, but like 20. We have the mountain update, the more structures update, the emperor update. We even have fake updates for 1.16 fake updates for 1.15. We even have fake updates for 1.12. That was an update which came out like 10 years ago. I think my absolute favorite articles on the wiki are the ones which are set comically in the future. Here we have Minecraft 2.0, Journey's Beginning. For those looking forward to Minecraft 2.0, you only have to wait till 2032 for it to come out. Oh, at last. Forget Minecraft 2.0, we're now on Minecraft 3.1, the Galactus update of the galaxy. This one is scheduled to come out on the 1st of November, 2061. It came out just after the 3.0 chapter three update. Ch chapter three, what is this, Fortnite? Minecraft 2.0, the nostalgia update, only coming in May 13th, 2109, literally 100 years in the future. I cannot wait, I'm going to be dead. But this weird wiki isn't just contained to fake updates, it also has a story sections for fan fiction of Minecraft. The Book of Notch, Notch of Indev, which I need to say, what is this image? I was gonna say it looks like it's drawn by a child, but let's be honest here, it probably is drawn by a child. I I'm making fun of children right now. I just like reading through the subtitles of this. Mutiny, Exile and Collusion, The Great War, Post-War Status, and The Rise of... <laughs> now the weirdness and strangeness of this wiki starts to make a lot more sense when you look at who actually runs it. Because this wiki of almost 4,000 pages is almost entirely created by three people. 
we have someone called Sadamant with over 4,600 edits alone. We have someone called Magic Majora with a further 2,000 edits. And over here, we have someone called Reniro R with over 3,500 edits and an image which I have to blur. I can't even show that on screen. Why is this in a wiki? What is wrong with you? First up, we have the Minecraft Ideas Wiki and the Minecraft Roleplay Wiki. Both I really wanted to see what was on, but unfortunately, they're both dead links. But there is one more listed, the Craft Media Cast International Wiki, which is this website over here. And I have no idea what this wiki is even about, but there is a nuclear bomb on the front of it. I did find one article of interest though, which is an article for the Minecraft movie. But this one is a fake version of the movie, apparently released in 2017. And it had the tagline, This ain't a sandbox anymore, kid. Ooh, I'm trembling in my boots. What's great as well is it has an entire cast listed. Apparently, it's going to be directed by Rob McClenny, the guy who made Always Sunny in Philadelphia. And apparently, it's also going to be directed by someone called Sean Lay, who I couldn't find anything on, but apparently, Sean Lay is a journalist for the BBC. This is Sean Lay. He's going to direct the Minecraft movie. Apparently. Looking further into the cast, we can see that Jason Griffiths is going to be playing Steve, who is 18 years old, and is someone Alex falls in love with. Playing Alex is Catherine Tabor, a 14-year-old god bro! Bro, why would you write this? Bro! Moving on to our next wiki, we have the Minecraft Creepypasta wiki. Now, I'm not going to spend too long on this one because I find creepypastas incredibly boring to read, but if you're interested in that stuff, I'm sure this is chock full of cringe. One thing I like about this website is the absolute war memorial of rules that you're presented with at the start. Like, look at this block of text. But what I did notice is over here in the sponsor section, we have three more wikis. My favorite of which is the MSCP wiki. This is a Minecraft version of the SCP wiki, just going on about Minecraft SCPs. So you can read articles such as the dark side of the moon, risk class critical is incredibly weirdly in depth and even includes fake photos of fake people. Look at this, look at this guy. Scrolling down further, we have another one. The only known photo taken of POI 401. <laughs> <laughs> Who writes this stuff? If you thought this was the only one, oh, you're mistaken. Because there's also the Chinese SCP Minecraft Wiki with a whole set of completely different articles, such as SCP MC 697, which apparently this is the image of. <laughs> Are you scared yet? Are you crying with fear? Ooh. Introducing the Minecraft Fan Ideas Wiki. Not to be confused with the Minecraft Ideas Wiki, which doesn't exist, this is apparently completely different. And the reason I wanted to bring this one up is this has over 1,000 articles, over 3,500 pages, over 6,000 edits, number of active users, one. This entire thing, I think, was made by, like, one crazy person. This wiki has some fantastic ideas, such as the TNT sword, the potato sword, the dirt sword, and the shadow sword. But it has more than just swords, it has daggers as well. And even black TNT, the spookiest of all the TNT. Here is one I found which I just love, the nether demon. And here is a picture of the nether demon. Once again, only the highest quality of stuff I'm showing you today. Moving on to the next incredibly weird wiki, we have the Minecraft players wiki, which if you go to the all pages section, each one of these is an article on like a player with lore and backstory, which I think they wrote themselves. Here is one on a guy called Creeper Guy. This is Creeper Guy right here, isn't he looking dashing? Creeper Guy is the third elder of lava and an astronaut and head scientist of lunar industries. What? Well, what is lava? Well, I'm glad you asked because lava has its own Wikipedia page. Lava is a mysterious griefer organization that is responsible for countless server griefs. Lava has been known to contact the mercenary 
mace sword to kill moderators and admins who get too close to finding out who they really are. Christ, for this amount of fictionalized embellishment, I feel like I'm watching a pirate software short. Sometimes, in your early 30s, your voice can change as a man, and it's effectively second puberty. Well, who is this mercenary mace sword? I, I need to know more about him. Well, here he is, slayer of admins and moderators all the like. I mean, I can't fault the guy. I too hate internet moderators. But that moves on to our last weird wiki, and probably the weirdest one of them all, which is Wikitubia, a wiki entirely Highly dedicated to YouTubers. And the whole reason I bring this up is because recently I found out that I have a page on this website which I did not know about. And the best part is, all this information is completely out of date or just wrong. Videos, less than 100, not true. Scheduled, unscheduled, no, that's not true. Uh, 300,000 subscribers, I've got more than double. And the most egregious one of them all is pronouns. He, him. Oh, please, if you're going to write a wiki page, at least get my pronouns correct. It is, of course, your majesty. 